Monrovia, the capital city of Liberia, has a population of over one million persons and is endowed with abundant water resources. However, the Liberia Water and Sewer Cooperation, which was created by an act to amend the public utility law in 1973, is finding it difficult to provide safe drinking water. Prior to the war, it had the capacity to pump 16 million gallons per day, but today it pumps 4 billion gallons to Moravia and its environs. Shortage of water in central Moravia is causing problem for its inhabitants. <laughs> Even the alternative sources of water in these communities are not safe and are sometimes dangerous to the lives of children. The, the water you just saw pouring up there and the people gather with the drums and then the, the buckets to collect, uh, this is actually the main source of water. Now this is a well that is very, very dangerous. It has zinc and the kids will actually have to get in the well a few steps ahead of the well to draw the water from way down. Sadly, the community latrine is just a feet away from the well. Another thing I wanted us to take a look at, the well is not even 10 feet away from the restroom. So there is a very, very much critical uh, unhygienic situation going on here. Also, in community where it is difficult to dig wells, People are left with nature to solve the water problem. So, like, here I will come to get our water early in the morning. Like, I do my little car washing up the hill there. So, usually, I come here to get water from here. Most of the time, the water there can always save me. And most of the time, the water can help all of people that are in the community, in the community here. This situation is not only unique to central Moravia alone. In the suburb, families are also finding it difficult to get safe drinking water. They are forced to drink water from pumps that are not safe, thereby leading to the attraction of waterborne diseases. How often are you water? So right now, no water coming in the Yeah, we get water twice in a month, sometimes once in a month, and our community is suffering because we don't have well. Yeah, we don't have well, but if we try to dig well, we get rare water in the water in every each on our skin. Suffering. suffering is truly the word. However, their willingness to survive is beyond all human understanding. This is a safety thing. People also use it to draw water. Even these students have started finding solutions the water condition uh, told us at that, school. Uh, he wants to introduce us to a little well that was dug by students here, you know, in this uh, little school, this little yeah. institution. Yeah. So you say this is a student's project. Yeah. The students themselves dug this well. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So that's it. This is part of the water condition. This is a student's uh, self-help project, and the water is only meant right for, here, for 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 uh, uh, to 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 use the bathroom. And so as we move on. Uh, these are the critical cases and we hope uh, our NGOs, government, international partners will realize that the water situation is absolutely deplorable. And wow. if we do not take a serious step now, like probably yesterday, if we do not take a step like yesterday, people might just go water crash. Thank you.